What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have My Damn Hauls episode number 14 and it is finally time to get BW's package. Finally we have all of the custom elite Randy Orton's in here. I have been waiting forever for this it seems. So happy to get them. Um, huge, 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 huge. Again, huge shout out to my man BEW Animations, Brian Wynn from Washington. Absolute beast mode. Give him a follow on Instagram. Subscribe to his channel. Both links in the description below. Absolute man when it comes to customizing. He hooked me up with some one-of-a-kind Randy Orton customs that we're going to crack open right here. I believe it is 13 of them in this box. And I'm just so excited to get this open. I swear to God, we've been waiting forever for it. So let's go ahead and get straight into the box. All right, guys, so I guess we can start it up. I go ahead and cut the box open, and I can just, Jesus, I can't even describe to you guys how excited I am to get this open. As you know, I'm a huge Randy Orton fan, big Randy Orton mark. Um, just like John Cena, I'm just, I don't know what's wrong with me, but, you know, I grew up, I witnessed his entire career, and he is my second favorite wrestler of all time, so I am just so freaking excited to get this box open. Um, just so many customs in here, one-of-a-kind customs that you will not see anywhere else, I guarantee you that, you will not be able to get any of these customs anywhere. So I am just so excited to get these things open, and what I'm going to do is, I guess, just take them out one by one and show you guys... Um, but they are all in baggy, so I guess what I'm going to go ahead and do is um, let's go ahead and let me get all of them out of the baggies, and then I'll pull them out one by one and show you guys. All right, guys, I got all of the Ordens out of their baggies, and my God, do they look very impressive. They look so amazing. I cannot wait to get in-depth with all of them. Um, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to get from this angle, and I'm going to bring each Orden in, and we're going to look at all of the details and everything of each figure um, you know, to give BW all of his credit to see all of the work that he did on all of these Ordens. We're going to go through each individual one until we are all the way through them, through them like we always do in my other videos. So, since this is the only package on My Damn Halls, you know, he deserved his own video. So, let's go ahead and start with the first Orden. Alright guys, starting out first, we have this Custom Elite Armageddon 2003 Randy Orton. This is based off of his... Uh, attire that he wore at Armageddon 2003 where he defeated Rob Van Dam to win his very first singles title in WWE. We have, you know, his old school tattoos. We have the old school head scan. This is from the SummerSlam Heritage Basic. We have the uh, darker hair, um, bold tattoos before he got the full sleeves, and just such clean paintwork from BWC. He has the purple with the black and white design, and I really like this attire a lot. Um, it's basically the Elite 35 with just purple instead of blue, and it just looks very, very clean. And, of course, he did wear big knee pads back then. So that is the first Orton out of the 13. Up next, we have a custom Elite Randy Orton based off of his SummerSlam 2004 attire when he defeated Chris Benoit to win the World Heavyweight Championship. Beautiful um, paintwork by BW again. On camera, I don't think it quite captures the color, but it is like an uh, orange peaches color with uh, gray and black designs, and it looks so very good. This is the Elite 49 Randy Orton base, um, as you can tell by the arms and the uh, tattoos and the head scan, and um, just a beautiful work by BW again. Um, probably the most memorable moment in Randy Orton's career, and he can't even really relive it because of the uh, you know Chris Benoit situation, but overall happy with the second of the 13 Elite Randy Ortons. Next up, we have this custom Elite Randy Orton from WrestleMania 24, and this is based off the moment when he retained the WWE Championship against Triple H and John Cena, um, really solidifying his career as a main event guy. Um, he has the classic tattoos again. He had black wrist tape, so he did paint that on. Um, no hand tape, though. And then this is just the base Elite 9, I believe, or Elite 12. I think it's the Elite 12. He had the red trunks just like this. And this is a custom head scan, so he did uh, modify the head scan to be more accurate to Randy Orton on that night. And just very good job again by BEW. Very simple, but um, had to get this moment in Randy Orton's career. So we're moving on to the next Randy Orton. Up next, we have another custom Elite Randy Orton. And part of this I did myself. I removed the hair, you know, to give him that bald look. But, it, you know, the bald look that Randy Orton rocked for a short amount of time. And um, on the sleeves right here, he removed the wrist tape and actually filled in 
um, the wrist tape where his tattoos are. So that's beautiful job by BW. He actually um, came in and filled in the gap. So this was wrist tape. He removed it and then came in and filled it in. It's just freaking amazing job. But um, this specific um, look that he is rocking right here is based off the moment when he um, RKO'd Evan Bourne. This is his favorite RKO he ever did. Um, he RKO'd Evan Bourne on the Shooting Star Press, which was absolutely incredible. And um, I just had to have this in Elite form. I, I like it. I'm not a big fan of the no wrist tape, but it is really cool to have at least one Elite Randy Orton from um, that specific look. Up next, we have an Elite Randy Orton fix-up, pretty much. I think this is the Elite 21 you see by the gray trunks. But this is based off of the Royal Rumble 2009 when he won his very first Royal Rumble. As you see with the head scan, that is a custom head scan. Um, BW completely nailed that look. It looks just like Randy Orton from that moment. And, you know, I'm trying to build up that timeline like I did with my John Cena. So, you know, I'm trying to get all his uh, defining moments in his career. And, of course, you cannot have that without this Royal Rumble win from Randy Orton. So, beautiful job by BW again. And we are moving on to the next Orton. Up next, we have this Custom Elite SummerSlam 2011 Randy Orton based off of his match with Christian, which was probably the best out of the series of matches that they had. And he had the black and light blue trunk design, and I absolutely love the color. Um, it really pops off of the black really nicely, and he did do the custom head scan from that match as well. Um, he did uh, regain the World Heavyweight Championship in that match, and just so amazing by BW again. Um, again, with the defining moment, you know, it's a big moment for uh, Randy Orton in his career and I'd say for Christian as well you know their string of matches they had that whole entire year was just amazing so hats off to both of those men but yes we are moving on to the next Orton up next we have a custom elite Randy Orton based off of his match with John Cena where he became the very first WWE World Heavyweight Undisputed Champion um, from TLC 2013 um, as you see from the custom head scan BW got the hair completely right and on the trunks, it is the black with the silver design. And he, I think that silver looks amazing. Like, I don't know if you can tell from the video, but good lord, it looks amazing in person. Very simple um, attire, but just so great in person. And I cannot wait to get this thing on the shelf with both titles. I think it'll look incredible. Maybe I can get some figure photography, you know, from that match or something like that. But just amazing. Very simple, but very effective custom elite Randy Orton. Up next, we have another Custom Elite Randy Orton from 2013, and BEW did modify the hair again, uh, making it more accurate to that time frame, and he did the uh, design, which is the black with the red outline and white um, filler. Um, I really like this attire. He didn't wear it too often, but I did want to get this attire made in Elite form, and I think it does turn out really nicely. Again, with the head scan, it makes everything a lot better, how he adds the faded touches. So, not much on this Elite, but very incredible. Up next, we have a custom Elite Randy Orton based off of his 2014 um, attire that he turned on Seth Rollins with. So, I will get down to the attire in just a minute, but I want to take a moment and look at this head scan that BW did. Just beautiful job on the head. Um, he did all sculpted detail. You know, he took that Elite 35 scan and turned it into this. So, just incredible work by him. So amazing. I love this attire a lot. So, going into the trunks, you have the gray with the silver designs with black outline. He did add the wrist tape as well. And just again, beautiful job. I love this attire so much. And now that I have it in figure form with this custom head scan, I'm just totally ecstatic to have it. But now we are moving on to the match that um, this attire created. So let's go ahead. So guys, here we have this completely redone Randy Orton head scan. Um, you will never see anything else like this. Look at that. He completely hand sculpted this Randy Orton head scan. He took the Elite 35, believe it or not, um, removed the entire bottom jaw, and then just sculpted that entire mouth, um, sculpted those angry uh, forehead wrinkles. Even there is a vein on his right side of his head. I don't know if you can tell, but there is a vein sculpted in there. And it just looks so incredible. The hair detail is amazing and just one of a kind Randy Orton head scan. And this is uh, moments after he performed that curb stomp RKO on Seth Rollins. So this is his WrestleMania 31 attire. You have the red trunks with dark gray and black um, designs in the trunks. It's just so great. I love this attire so much. And it just looks so amazing. With those elbow pads and everything, with that yelling head scan, it just looks so great. Maybe I can get some great uh, figure pictures with this. But um, I don't think the uh, lighting is doing the trunks justice. It kind of looks orange on camera, but it is totally red, and it looks amazing. So, again, this figure is phenomenal, but we still have three Ortons left. 
Up next, we have this Custom Elite Royal Rumble 2017 Randy Orton. And again, this is the Elite 35 head scan, but he did remove the teeth and custom paint. So it looks a whole lot better than that Elite 35. He did custom paint the trunks to the accurate trunks that Randy Orton was wearing when he won the 2017 Royal Rumble. And the Royal Rumble um, 2017 is the first video that I ever made, the pay-per-view predictions. And I did predict this right. I was so ecstatic to have my boy win the Royal Rumble here. He even has the detail with the orange rubber band on the right wrist there. So beautiful custom and probably one of my favorite head scans that he did in this entire batch. Up next, we have a custom elite Randy Orton based off of his WrestleMania 33 attire where he defeated Bray Wyatt to win his 13th WWE Championship. As you see by the head scan, that is another custom head scan there. That is the Elite 35 with some modifications. Again, looks way better than the Elite 35. Such a great job by BEW again. Going into the trunks, he did get all of this accurate. He even got the knee pads as well. Orange rubber band on the right wrist again. And spinning around here, you will see the detail. Look at that. He completely nailed that attire that Randy Orton wore at WrestleMania 33. Um, even the knee pads are completely accurate with that snake skin painted on there. Just This may be one of my favorites as well. Just the accuracy of it is incredible. And that head skin is so beautiful as well. So very happy with this WrestleMania 33 Orton. But now we are moving on to the final Orton in this video. And last but not least, we have this My Damn Toys Fantasy Attire Randy Orton. Look at those white trunks. That is freaking amazing. As you guys know, I am a complete uh, fool for the color white. That is my favorite color. It's my last name. And just, I love the color white. It's so clean. It makes everything fresh. And just look at it. This is a complete fantasy attire me and BEW came together and made with that gray letters and black outline. Looks so sick. We even gave him white tape, you know, to complete the look. Um, we thought that white knee pads and boots would probably be a tad much, but I think that this is the perfect mixture. Just so clean. Um, it came out so great and even put in a custom head here. Um, I may end up switching it out just because Mattel didn't really know what they were doing. Um, but I do love this head as well, but I may, um, you know, put a different head scan on there. Not sure. Maybe won't, but um, totally love this attire. But now we can line up every single Orton and take a look at all of them together. Alright guys, here you have all the Ordens lined up, all 13 of them, all 13 of them look incredible. Huge shout out again to BEW Animations, link to his Instagram and YouTube in the description below. I have such a great best friend to, you know, make me great customs, you know, we go back and forth and make deals and I'm just so blessed to have him and just amazing, amazing collection of Ordens right here that we have completed. And you know, we still have like nine more on the shelf waiting to be customized. Um, someday so so happy to get those out so happy to you know complete this timeline you know it's a long ways away from being completed but this is a great start they all just look so amazing I'm so happy to have all of them but that is going to do it for this episode of My Damn Halls guys thank you guys so much for watching subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure related videos and I will see you guys in the next video thank you so much